We're in Lesson 5.26. In this lesson, you will first carefully review the proper format of a memo. You will then recreate a memo written by the school principal about an upcoming event and address it to the faculty. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is open up a blank document and we're going to name it Spirit. I've already done this, so go ahead and do this and save it to your Word folder in your H drive. Okay, now I'm just going to change my line spacing to zero spacing before and after a paragraph and then single. All right, now I'm going to set my margins for the page. So I'm gonna change my top margin to two inches and then leave my left, right, and bottom margins to one inch. So I'm just gonna go to layout, margins, put the top one for two inches and then the other three are already correct so I'm just going to leave them how they are. Okay, now I'm going to change my font to Arial 12 point. So I'm gonna go home, Arial, and then choose 12. Okay, now it says to start on the first line of the document and type the title memorandum in bold, center aligned, and all caps. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my bold and center alignment and turn my caps lock on and type my title in. Okay, now it says to type the remaining text in the memo as shown in the figure. Blank lines are shown by the formatting symbol and use the tab key to align the text separating the to, from, date, and subject. Okay, so if we scroll down or look at your paper that says memorandum. Okay, the blue formatting symbols indicate a space between each of these lines. So that just indicates how many times we click enter. So I'm gonna click enter twice after typing in memorandum. Now I'm gonna set my tab settings. So I'm gonna go to the paragraph pick box right here, tabs. Okay. And I'm going to set my tab stop position for 1.5 left aligned and click set. Then I'm going to click OK and I'm going to start typing my memo. So first I'm going to type in two in all caps. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I have that extra space right there so there is a space between memorandum and my two. After I type two, I'm going to click tab and you'll notice that all faculty is aligned with my tab that I just set. So now I'm gonna click enter twice and I'm gonna go from in all caps and now when I click tab again, it is going to be in my same tab stop that I just set. So I'm gonna put my name, comma, principal, hit enter twice, date. When I click tab, it is still aligned with my first tab stop. And for the last one, we are going to go subject and spare week, okay? Now, if you look over in the document, it shows that there are two spaces between subject and the rest of my text, okay? so. If you click this little formatting tool in the paragraph box, you can tell where all of your spaces are. So each of these symbols on my Word document match the example that we have. Okay, so that means that since we have two spaces, like I've already said, we're going to make sure that we click enter three times and we see the two symbols that indicate we have two blank lines in between subject and our body text. I'm gonna turn my formatting off just by clicking the icon again. And now I'm going to start typing our content.
All right, so now that I'm done typing these first two paragraphs, we're gonna enter this list. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm making sure I'm in the Home tab, and I'm gonna go into my paragraph settings, and I'm gonna cl click the bullet pointed list. I'm gonna go ahead and type Monday. Okay, and then if you type the minus sign from your minus key on your keyboard, and there's a space on each side of it, it will widen out. So I'm making sure to type in the day, so Tuesday, space, minus sign, space, and then the dress up day. And if you notice, as you go, your minus sign will get wider. There's a special name for this, and you should ask your English teacher because I do not remember the special name for the long minus sign that is used in memos. All right, and to get out of my list, I'm just gonna click enter twice and my bullet point will disappear. I'm gonna make sure there's a space before I start typing my next paragraph, just like it has on our example. And I'm just going to finish up typing now. All right, and when you are done typing, you're done for the day. Make sure yours looks like the example and turn it in on Google Classroom. Don't forget to save.